I am uh, Dr. V. S. Chandarana. Uh, I am a, a practicing physician and a heart specialist. Uh, practicing in Rajkot since last uh, 41 years. I am a life member of Cardiology Society of India and a Physician Association of India. Salt and hypertension. Indian consumes almost double the recommended intake of salt. As evident from the Public Health Foundation of India, they founded the study that the Indian uh, individual contain 10.98 gram of the salt per day, which is double than WHO recommendation. WHO recommended that 5 grams should be taken by each individual. The physiological requirement is 2 gram only. So, we are taking 5 times needed salt in the, uh, our body. So, the salt which contains sodium, sodium will collect the fluid inside the body, extracellular space. There will be collection of extra fluid. So, fluid volume will increase. This will increase cardiac output and ultimately leads to the hypertension. Hypertension is high blood pressure. Also, the high salt intake will damage the kidney also because the extra fluid kidney has to excrete. So, there will be a, a kidney damage also when you take more salt. Now, most of we, we we take salt from our food. Our food is rich in salt. We consume this uh, namkeen, this uh, all type of uh, oily and salty uh, items, papad, chutney. All all these contain extra salt. And Indian people are very much fond of taking all these things. Second thing is uh, when you used the, the canon food or the preserved food, the salt is used as a preservative also. So, in a sense, everything will increase salt intake. And this increased salt intake will increase your blood pressure. We, we believe that since years we are we are taking salt and now why we should restrict the salt intake. But that salt was a different. It was a black salt or a pink salt. Now the salt is a refined salt. Our table salt is a refined salt which contains extra sodium and which is harmful. The only positive th thing in a refined salt is that it contains iodine which is helpful to our body. And suppose, suppose we reduce the salt intake, whether it will help in uh, controlling the blood pressure? Yes, there is a study uh, done by the dietary ap approach to the stroke hypertension, which is called DASH study. They, they have, they have, they have uh, examined and studied over 412 participants with, with normal blood pressure and high blood pressure. And they have restricted the salt intake in all these people. And after a period of a time, they found out that there is a they they the study predicted that a decline of the salt intake by 100 millimole per day. Suppose you decrease 100 millimole per day, there will be decrease in 7.11 systolic and 3. 88 diastolic blood pressure in hypertensive individual while 3.57 by 1.66 diastolic in a normal person. So, there is a benefit. So, in nutshell, we should change our diet program like opting for a fresh fruit and vegetable instead of package or processed snacks. We should select unsalted nuts, beans, seeds, peas, avoiding adding salt. We, we are adding salt in our buttermilk, we are adding salt in salad. So, that table salt should be avoided. And we, we can have a low sodium salt. There is a, salts are available, lona salt or like that. That can be used instead of our regular salt. And using spices and herb 
will enhance our flavor instead of using salt and choose low sodium food that is very important considering the health benefit to delay or prevent the incidence of hypertension in a normal tensing people as well as in a positive impact on blood pressure with high blood pressure people the effort to restrict the salt intake worthwhile and we should strive to achieve it the subject is a lifestyle uh, disease nowadays the there are many diseases uh, like blood pressure diabetes cardiac problem stress problem brain problem they all are related to lifestyle disorders and hypertension is one of the uh, disease which has many thing to do with our uh, lifestyle uh, people live in a sedentary life nowadays so there is a sedentary life they are overweight they are as stress people they don't follow the advice of the doctor and ultimately land up with cardiac problem hypertension diabetes kidney disease like that and hypertension is one of the uh, problem related to the uh, lifestyle disorder these are non communicable disease nowadays the non communicable disease are increasing previously we had a typhoid or malaria or cholera or jaundice now these these are all declining instead of this cardiac problem and hypertension they are increasing the hypertension is like this that people don't know whether he or she is suffering from hypertension unless in one fine morning he develop a stroke or a paralysis or a heart attack or kidney failure so hypertension is a silent killer so we eat more food and we spend less calorie we are a fond of taking salty food we don't move here and there so we have a sedentary life we have a stress all the round so what to do first we have to control our diet as i said we should take low salt diet low cholesterol diet we should take lot of vegetables and fruit which can give you calories second thing you have to increase your physical activity when you increase your physical activity uh, 30 to 60 minute per day walking it will uh, decrease your weight also it will uh, make you fresh one also so do something if you can walk you walk gardening play with the children this activity is required to control the blood pressure and lifestyle disorder you reduce your weight to reduce the weight increase the physical activity and as i said you control the diet then one should have a good sound sleep at least 6 to 7 hours sleep will reduce your stress and help in reducing the blood pressure stress stress is very important nowadays uh, people are uh, don't take relaxation and always they are stress stress and stress this stress uh, leads to the increase in blood pressure and other problem arises the bottom line is to take time to consider whether you are on a target with each of these five lifestyle changes if you reach out of your physician or other trusted resources to help develop a plan and uh, this important step to improve your health high blood pressure like every lifestyle disorder poses two choices the many people find this fulfill live with positive habit or resign yourself to take medication as you grow older thank you